someone asked me a great question. They said they've been working on the pattern that they've had in their life of people pleasing and enmeshment in other people's opinions about them. And they've been falling back in those same old patterns that they used to be in. And they asked me why. Why are they falling back on the same old patterns, the same old habits and ways of being? Now, it's a great question that's so relatable by so many of us because so many times when we start a new habit, it could be changing the way we're eating or changing the dynamic in a relationship or the way that we relate to others, people-pleasing, codependent patterns within ourselves. What happens? That resistance is going to come up. Now, why? Why does that resistance come up? Because the way this spiritual world works, the way the world works, and this is an important truth that we just have to know, is that whenever we are growing and we're evolving more into our authentic, true, highest selves, the forces of the other side are always going to come up as well. There's a rule called Zet Luma Zet Asailokim, that the forces of light of our soul are always opposed, that they are equal and opposite to the forces of the dark forces of the universe, the klipa energy, the darkness. So whenever we are growing and resistance comes up, just know that you're doing great, and that's a great thing, because that's just the way this spiritual world works. That's just the way the world works, that the resistance is actually a, a sign that you're doing great. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, and you've really come so far in your spiritual growth and your involvement into your authentic, true, highest self. Now, I want to examine another part of that question. Now, the question of why, why am I still falling into the same old habit, the same old pattern? When we ask the question why, I want you to notice the energy that that brings. Because whenever we're asking the question why, we're always saying that I'm here and I'm supposed to be here. When I'm here and my truest, highest self is going to be over there. And when we figure out why, then we're going to be able to be happy and fulfilled. The truth is, is that Hashem, God, is with us right here, and we are exactly where we're supposed to be in our process. So whenever we're asking why, I want you to notice the feeling that comes up of resistance, of judgment that comes up. And the truth is, is that whenever we are falling into an old addiction, a habit, a pattern, there's part of our inner child that's looking for love, that's looking for compassion, and it's finding it in that old habit. So it's finding it in the food. It's finding it in people pleasing. It's finding, a, finding it in being enmeshed in how other people perceive them in order to feel safe and secure within yourself. So instead of coming to it from the question of why, the question that we really want to be asking is the question of what, of curiosity, of taking the experience, taking the feeling, and kind of putting it outside of ourselves and observing it. Just observing what's happening. Without judgment, just kind of noticing it, observing it, and getting curious with it. And that connects us to the highest part of our soul called the power of Chachma. Chachma is the portal, it's like a portal to the highest levels of our soul, of expanded consciousness within us. And the power of Chachma, if you look at it, is broken down into two words, the word Chachma, for Koach Ma, the power of what. So whenever we just take a step back, notice our experience, notice maybe old patterns that we're getting into, old ways of being, notice the resistance that's coming up, and just notice it and observe it, what are we doing? We're giving it the space to actually heal itself. Because what are we doing then? We're giving it the love that it needs. If your friend would come to you and she'd just say, um, you know, I've been working on my eating habits, I've been, I've been dieting, and I just ate a whole chocolate cake. And you'd be like, why'd you do that? Like, come on, you know, you're, like, you, you've been wanting to lose weight, you've been doing so great, why would you do that? Think about how she would feel. Obviously, she'd feel very judged, very criticized. And yet we do that so many times with ourselves that we judge ourselves, we blame ourselves, we're so critical to ourselves when really, really that inner child within us just needs love. It just needs nurturing. It just needs compassion. 
So just notice within yourself, with a lot of curiosity, when these old habits, these old patterns, these old ways of being are coming up. And instead of asking, why is this happening? And if I figure this out, then I'd be happy. Because then what happens, the love for ourselves is conditional. And in order to access the expansiveness of our soul, the expansiveness of the light of who we are, we need to expand our vessel to really receive Hashem's love. And that can only come from a place of love and compassion within ourselves and a real connection to our authentic selves, which again, resistance comes in. These feelings come up, these old patterns come up. And that is actually, again, a sign of growth, a sign that we're doing great. So, um, yeah, whenever these questions come up, again, just get curious, just sit with it, just really be present with the feelings and um, give them the love and the attention that they're really looking for. And you'll see that you'll really grow more and more and more day by day, step by step into your true, highest, divine self. Have a beautiful day.